Hi, today we are going to see demo for disaster helper man web application. First open the MangoDB, then connect. Here you can see the backend database on this table. Let's go to the Visual Studio. Then explore the SRC folder, then you can view the backend, it's our router files. Then go to the client, here you will see the back components files on this page. Then open the readme text, here you can see the login details and then how to open web application in step by step procedure on this page. Next open run the backend and the client server, so open the terminal. First run the backend server, so copy the cd backend and paste to the terminal. Then install the node modules, so copy the npm install and paste to the terminal. I have already installed, so I will move for the next step. Copy the npm start and paste to the terminal. Now backend server is connected. Next open the client server. Copy the cd client. Paste to the terminal. Then copy the npm runtime. Paste to the terminal. Now backend server also connected. Then you can see the URL link. Copy to paste the browser. Now you can see the disaster helper man web publication. It have three roles: user, admin, and volunteer. First, go to the admin login. Enter the email ID and password. Now login successfully. Now you can view the admin homepage. First go to the post disaster. Here you can post the disaster details on this page. And then go to the update disaster. Here you can see the disaster details on this page. And then update and upload the images. Then you can update the location using the update map and the geo map. Click on the geo map. Now you can update the current location. Then go to the update map. Here you can select to update the disaster location. Then go to the show map. Here you can see the disaster location. Next go to the post shelter. Here you can add the shelter details on this page. And then go to the update shelter. Here you can view the all shelter details and you can update the status. Then you will be update the shelter location on this page. Use the update map and the geo map. Let's go to the view incident. Here you can see the user disaster incidents on this page and then you will be update the status click on the update and enter the update status then submit next go to the view resource here you can view the resource details under available status then go to the view emergency contact. Here you can update our profile. Go to the view all of volunteers. Here you can view the volunteer details and you can assign a task. Enter the role and task. Next go to the view volunteer task. Here you can view the volunteer status. Then go to the add bank details for donation. Here you can post the donation bank details on this page. Let's go to the manage bank details for donation. Here you can see the bank donation QRL code and update upload the QRL codes and update the bank details. 
Next we will move for the user. Go to the user role. We have to sign up. Click on the register now and then register your detail. Enter your name, then password. Give the password. Mobile number. Then city. Now click on the sign up. Your password must contain at least one character letter, one special character, the length of 8 digit. Now register successfully. If you already registered, you can use your email ID and password. Now login successfully. Now we can see the user home page. First go to the view disaster. Here you can view the disaster details on this page. And then go to the show map. Here you can see the disaster location. Next go to the view shelter. Here you can view the shelter details and you can see the status. status. And then go to the show map. You will be seeing the shelter location. Next go to the post SOS. Here you can send the SOS a lot. After you send the SOS a lot, then go to the admin home page. Admin will be see your SOS a lot message. Then admin can update the status. Next go to the user home page. After the admin will be update the SOS alert, go to the view SOS. Here you can see the admin. Here you can see the update status. Let's go to the post incident. Here you will be post the incidents on this page. So give the incident details and then submit. Let's go to the manage incident. Here you can see the all incident details and then you will be see the incident status. Then you will be update and delete and then upload the image. And then you will be update the location. You can using the update map and the geo map. Next go to the post resource. Here you can post the resource details on this page. Then go to the manage resource. Here you will be see the all resource details on this page and then you can update the status. Next go to the view all resource. Here you can see the all resource on this page and then you can see the available status. Then go to the view donation found. Here you can see the donation details on this page. Click on the emergency contact detail. Any emergency situation you can contact to admin. Next we will move for the volunteer. Enter the email id and password. Now login successfully. Now you can see the volunteer homepage. Go to the view work details. Here you can view our work details on this page. And then volunteer will be update your status. That's the whole disaster helper Mernbub publication.